today what we're doing is we're, we're making a surfboard where the core component of it, polyol, comes from algae. So many people say, how is it that you can take algae oil to produce these things? All petroleum. When you drill a hole in the ground and pull oil out of the ground, you are pulling out algae oil. That's all that stuff is. It's fossilized. It's 300 to 400 million years old, but it doesn't come from melted dinosaurs or something else. All petroleum is algae oil. So when we produce algae oil in our little ponds right here, we're actually not doing anything different than what's underground. So one of the things that we, uh, you know, that we specifically focus on out here is production of algae, but with a specific idea in mind that we're looking at sustainable solutions for the future. So this is the great thing about this project. Not any one of the groups that participated in it could have done this on their own. So, you know, we as biologists, we can produce the algae oil, but then we need the chemists to convert that into polyols. Then we needed the surfboard companies to blow that into foam and shape the surfboard. Uh, we needed Solazyme, uh, the big uh, commercial al algae company, to give us enough oil to do this so we can do it at big scale. So that we could make a board that is sustainable, and that comes from algae as a biological source and use that to get back into the ocean. I think every surfer will just understand the connection to this. There's a beautiful symmetry about making an algae surfboard, right? I mean, part of it is that algae comes from the ocean, right? And, and so in many ways, we're, we're, we're just going back to where we came from. But I think a really important aspect of this project is that surfers, maybe more than any other sport, you are totally connected and immersed in the environment. And surfers pride themselves on you know, taking care of the ocean and, and understanding its complexity. And I, and I think this gives another way to really tighten that connection and show that we can still enjoy the ocean, but do it in an environmentally friendly and sustainable way. So I think we're actually gonna be able to enhance the properties of surfing and take it to a whole new level.